Welcome back, and it's time for our feature story tonight. Montclair State University is a melting pot of different races, nationalities, and orientations. Students say that has a big impact on their success in school. The president of MSU is standing by. She'll be here in just a minute to talk about it. But first, Antoine Lewis takes us on a visit to campus. When 21-year-old Sierra Watts had to choose between a historically black college or university or Montclair State, she went with her heart. A lot of people stressed me going to HBCU, but I didn't want to. I wanted to be able to learn from different people because going into the business where I'm going to be dealing with so many different types of people that you have to learn how to maneuver and change. And I think that was the biggest part about going to a diverse campus. And that's exactly what she found. For more than 100 years, Montclair State University has prided itself on the diversity of its student body. Of its 17,000 students, 47% are white, 29% are Hispanic Latino, 13% are African American, Asian students account for 6%, with students of Native American, Islamic, and Pacific Island descent comprising the rest. A melting pot that psych major Paul Lajayi says will help him with patients when he becomes a licensed psychiatrist. I think it's applicable because, again, um, by being in a diverse community that promotes inclusion, it allows me to to be exposed to uh, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, um, uh, different religions, right? Um, each component that deals with mental health in a different way. Montclair State has also been recognized as one of the top 20 LGBTQ friendly campuses in the country of huge importance to English major Micah Myers, who says he wanted to be around attitudes vastly different from those he grew up with in Southeast Georgia. I was born and raised um, racist, uh, transphobic, homophobic, Islamophobic, um, anything negative or anything that had like a negative connotation, I was kind of raised to believe in that. And so being on a, on a campus like Montclair, it was kind of like, you know, learning the opposite of that and, and embracing that diversity that I didn't have before. And so it was something that I didn't have and something that I definitely wanted whenever I first got here. Administrators say the campus has several programs and activities centered around inclusiveness created by the students themselves. It's extremely positive. They are going into a world that where everybody is a little bit different, whether it's economically, racially, socially. And so the importance of learning how to get along with people who are different from themselves is vital, and they do that here. And while many may say a lot of the national rhetoric is heavy on divisiveness, it appears the students at Montclair State proudly aren't listening. This coming from nutrition major Jamie Bacher, who's Caucasian, but born and raised in Mexico okay. until age 16. Um, so this fall, I'm going to be working with a church um, in, it's in New Newark, and I'm going to be helping them better their eating habits with fats, sugars, stuff like that, and it's mainly a Hispanic church. From the home of the Red Hawks, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News. And joining us now live here in the studio, we have Dr. Susan Cole. She's the president of Montclair State University. Great to have you with us. Thank you. So tell us why it's so important to have diversity like you have at MSU on college campuses. There are a couple of reasons. The one obvious reason is educational. You cannot really prepare to live and work in this world if you don't really understand the world, and you cannot understand the world if you don't understand the people in it. And you cannot understand the people in it if you've never met them. So with all of that diversity, what happens is that students see perspectives other than their own, they hear ideas other than their own, and they begin to understand how to incorporate that into how you live and work in the world. How is Montclair State University able to maintain its diversity year after year? It's really a very simple secret. We want to. <laughs> we really want to. Our mission as an institution is to reflect the full diversity of society in the people who make up the institution. And so we make sure that we are out in the neighborhoods, in the communities, in the high schools, in all of the places where all the people are. We don't pick one of these, one of these, one of those. We just make sure that the message about the university is out there in all communities and people understand they are really welcome at the university. So there you were mentioning sort of the recruiting process. What about the admissions process? How does that work when it comes to diversity? Well, really what I just said, which is we have to be in the places where the people are. It's not a question of 
of making quotas or lining things up. It is a question of saying, we need to be in Newark, we need to be in Patterson, we need to be in the communities where the Asians are, where the Hispanics are. We need to put materials out there so that they understand that the opportunity for a really excellent education is open to them too. What about the diversity among your staff, among the professors on campus? Uh, it's also very diverse. We try and keep the campus in every way reflecting society. You know, it's very important because beyond what I said for the educational reason, the even bigger reason is that you cannot have a democracy without an educated people. In the old days, century ago, college was to educate the leaders, the elite the ones who were going to run the nation. Today, it's to educate the citizenry. The leaders, yes, but without the citizens, we don't have a free society. Education is what makes a society possibly free. Dr. Susan Cole, President of Montclair State University, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks nice so much. Nice to be here.